What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Tuesday, October the 6th, and I want to introduce you to two new members of our community in in Columbia. Actually, they've been here three months, but that's relatively new. Uh, Two majors from the Salvation Army. I have Curtis and Sandy Hartley. Welcome to Radio Friends, and and welcome to our community. Thank you. Pleasure to have both of you here today. Now, you came to Columbia, uh, what was it, back in July? Yeah, 1st of July. Yeah. From where? We had been in Kansas City for two years at the uh, divisional headquarters for the Kansas Division. So uh, it was a very short move for us. uh, Right. Probably one of the shortest, I think, in our career. Um, So what does it feel like coming from Kansas City and then taking over in in Columbia? In a lot of respects, I think it feels normal. Um, You know, we've been officers for some... 35, 38 years, something like that. Yeah. Um, and it's just part of our life as Salvage Army officers. Um, the Army moves us around as they need us, and so we don't go into an appointment with a set number of years uh, promised or expected. Um, it's just they, they shuffle us around as they need us. So. Right. You're like the Catholic priest in the in the Catholic Church. You know, the, 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 the diocese moves them to a parish, and they maybe stay... Two years or three years, and then all at once, they're moved again, we and that's what the Salvation yes. Army does too. Does that does that fit into your lifestyle? Okay, it is what we are used to. And when you feel a calling to be a Salvation Army officer, pastor, and you go through the training and um, are sent out and appointed to your first church, um, it is the life that you sign up for. So you know that there will be moves that will come along the way. And they may be short, they may be long, and it's just up to the Lord and the Salvation Army about where they need you and when. Well, that, that's good attitude. <laughs> so here in Columbia, what do you see as your biggest challenge? Um, the I think the easy, immediate answer is... Uh, um, figuring out how to continue serving and serving better through this COVID pandemic that we're all still in and wondering just where and when the end will be. Um, there have been so many drastic changes to the way we operate, obviously. Right. Um, and yet uh, being in human services, uh, social services work, uh, direct contact with those who who are needy um, is a uh, is a challenge. Of course, we do our best with the uh, personal protection equipment and uh, and, and and policies uh, to keep everyone as safe and healthy as we can. Uh, but so that I, cre- creates I, a real challenge in the short come for us. Yeah, right now. how are you handling the shelter? <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> um, that's one of the that's one of the things where where we concentrate probably the most on co- on conversation and revising policies almost uh, early in this. Uh, uh, this whole pandemic, you know, information was changing constantly and, and quickly, day by day, it seemed. Right. Uh, so it, uh, we're just always keeping up with the policies, keeping in close contact with local health department, who's been very helpful to us, um, and doing our best. I think uh, one of the one of the biggest challenges there is just re- uh, keeping everyone calm and reassuring them that we are doing our best to keep them safe and healthy, and that they need to participate in that on their own. Uh, to do that as well. So, are you at this point? Is there still room in the shelters? Um, we've had to limit the number of beds because of social distancing. Right, right. Um, but again, the population uh, uh, ebbs and flows, uh, and so sometimes there are beds available. Sometimes we're at, at we've been at peak at at, yeah. at the shelter. And you know that's that's uh, when you think about the cold weather that's coming this uh, later this fall and winter. Uh, it's 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 somewhat frightening to think of people who are going to need assistance. And 
when you say they need assistance, that means that all of us in the community need to try to help organizations like the Salvation Army as much as, as we can. Now, you'll be going into the Red Kettle Drive sure. for too long. Are they going to be out <laughs> on, the, on the street side ringing bells this year? That is our plan. Our plan is to provide um, the Christmas assistance and the fundraising as we normally have done. Our challenge this year is just to figure out how to get it done in a COVID-safe environment. Yeah, but you're still planning to have bell ringers out. Yes, we we've, still we've contacted the, the vendors who, who normally allow us to stand at, at their uh, locations. And they've given you the okay? we're getting approvals from them and, and reassuring them that, again, we're changing even the policies uh, for instance, sanitizing the handbells that the ringers use every day, and right. we're using disposable aprons and signs for them uh, instead of the cloth ones that we that we would uh, normally use in the past. So yeah, those uh, are all things that that we don't really yeah. think about on a yeah. regular basis. Yes, sanitizing those bells when you move from one bell right. ringer to, and the, to the other. And the kettles. Yeah. And uh, what is what is the goal for this year? Have you set that yet? Uh, we have not. Um, that's a part of what we're... In fact, we have a meeting later this morning with our staff um, to uh, to go over a lot of these Christmas plans of yeah. where we're going. So now, the need, if, obviously, is, is going to be great because of the extra work of course we're doing it is. with COVID. So. You have the thrift store. Uh, are there any other precautions? As far as people wanting to make a donation to the Salvation Thrift Store... There's a certain way you do this now, isn't it? Yeah, it, you can't no, just you just can't come in with your donation. Right, no contact as much as possible. In fact, uh, there's a very small dock outside the back door, and signs there saying, you know, honk your horn, but uh, you unload whatever you've got and leave it on the on the on the step there. Leave it and there, and then staff, they come out. Right. Yeah, yeah, they'll 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 come out rubber gloves and masks and everything, and go through what's what's there. So. That was unthinkable a couple of years ago. Sure, yeah. Absolutely unthinkable a couple of years and ago. And ju just like when you and I came in, we, it, we would have jumped up and shaken hands. Right. Uh, it, it's like normally our, our staff would have gone out and welcomed the, 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 the donor and thanked them and taken the box right out of their hands or whatever they've got. And, and so it's a, it's all this no context stuff. Exactly. It just makes life different. So where is the thrift store? Give, let's, let's plug that. That's a good question. It's just a few blocks from here over on We have two. Ash. One right. on Walnut and one on Parkade. Okay, Google oh. it. Google it. And that's there that's you understandable. You're brand new to the community. Yeah. And those addresses just don't pop into your mind very quickly. But if people want more information and if you want to help the Salvation Army, uh, you can go to their website mm -hmm. and you can make a, a, a donation online or you can send them a check. Or when you see the bell ringers out on the in front of the stores... Please carry some extra cash with Absolutely. you and drop yes, it in please. there. Yeah, thank you so and much. Majors, I thank you so much for coming by today. And I hope you will be, uh, be coming back from time to time to keep sure. us posted on your work with the Salvation Army. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so okay. much. Thank Best of luck to much. both of you and, and, and welcome to Columbia. Thank you. Okay. We're out of time. If there's something you'd like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Simply drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu, and put that mask on when you go out today.